We're only one day away, guys. I'm going to head out this afternoon around 2 o'clock. I got, as I said, got class from 2 to 3. So, but then we're going to head around 3.34, try to head out. And uh, head up 35, straight through Waco, up around through Fort Worth, through Norman, Oklahoma. I can't wait for that. I don't even know. I, we may stop and get a Whataburger there. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we do. Well, then again, they'll probably slash our tires. They got nothing else to do in Norman. but hate Texas. Ugh. Then you got Oklahoma City, and then you've got the prairies of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Uh, long drive, but it's going to be fun. Uh, we'll have a good time. Um, yeah, with the Dallas Cowboys, the real Cowboys, not the Oklahoma State Cowboys, the Dallas Cowboys, uh, yeah, you know, they're going to beat Seattle this week. Uh, if, that, if that same team shows up that showed up last week against Atlanta, the Dallas Cowboys will be fine. If they don't, they'll lose, and we'll have a much more questions for them. But that's why, you know, Dallas, I think, will be fine this week. Texas, on the other hand, is going to have a lot harder time. Oklahoma State's good. Oklahoma State is a formidable opponent, and this really is – you know, in a sense, the battle for the Big 12 South and really the Big 12 title because either Texas or Oklahoma State can beat any of the North teams. So we're fine there. Um, but unless something weird happens, that's what's going to happen. Now, Oklahoma State has already lost a game, though. And if you guys are taking care of business against Houston, now I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, Houston beat you, so Texas is going to kill you. It doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't. But you let Houston come into your house and beat you, and now you're 14. Just think, if Okie State had just taken care of business, this would be a three versus four. This would be, I mean, game day would definitely be here. They're going to Eugene, which that SC Oregon game is a good game too, so I can't fault them for going there. And they've been going to a bunch of Texas games anyway. Kirk is probably tired of watching us. Um, but if they had taken care of business, this, this thing would be even bigger than it already is. But... 14, Oklahoma State's taken care of business since. And it's Halloween night. And usually that's a death trap for top teams going on the road uh, against formal opponents. So SC better watch out against Oregon. And Texas better watch out against Oklahoma State. Now Oklahoma State, they don't have Des Bryant. You know, he lied to the NCAA. He's out for the season. So their big threat's gone. But they've been playing without him. So I'm, I'm not that, that's not really the biggest loss for me. Kendall Hunter, on the other hand, who has been banged up, now, Mike Gundy said that he'll probably get to play maybe 8 to 10 snaps. That's not enough to beat Texas. Your best rusher needs to be on that field 100% if you really want to have a legitimate chance to beat this team. Because Texas already has the number one rush defense in the in the country. And really, I think we have the best defense in the country, but you know that's debatable by Alabama and Florida. Uh, but those are the top three teams, and you see what the defense has done. Texas is also number one in turnovers. I mean, we cause turnovers non-stop. If Okie State wants to win this game, they better protect that ball because we'll get it from you. Um, so those are two big hits for Oklahoma State's offense. That being said, they still got their quarterback, Zach Robinson, who I've always said I respected the guy. I think he's a great quarterback. He's a mobile guy who makes plays, makes good decisions usually. Um, and he's got one of the best offensive lines they've ever had at Oklahoma State. Uh, those, you know, So Texas pass rush, who's, you know, the, the Texas defense, uh, I think it was Lamar Houston, has named our defense the Goon Squad. Uh, because really the, the past quarterbacks we play, we either knock them out physically or they get benched by the coach, a la Colorado. So Zach Robinson better watch out. Um, you know, and, But we're going to have a harder time this week getting to the quarterback than we did against Gabbard and Bradford, who are already banged up starting with, and then you know Hawkins, but Hawkins sucks anyways. So, and, and so you've got a mobile quarterback with a great offensive line. That's, that's, that's recipe for success. So offensively, you guys are going to be pretty good. But I have a lot of faith in our defense. That's going to be a great matchup. Let's talk about the other side of the ball. Oklahoma State's defense is better than they usually have. They're not really a place that plays defense. It's the Big 12. Most teams don't. That defense, though, that defense better watch out. Because this Texas offense, you saw what they did to Missouri last week. And Missouri's secondary is horrible. Well, Oklahoma State's secondary is not that much better. If, you give, if they do not get pressure on Colt McCoy... This will be a long day for Oklahoma State, and this game will be over fast. Texas, you saw what they did in, in, a, uh, in a hostile environment in Columbia. We shut them up fast. 21 points like that. Game was over. We're moving on. Oklahoma State can't let that happen. Now, they can jump on us, and they know this. If Oklahoma State jumps up on us by 21, game's not over yet. That game's just getting started. That means they'll be in it in the fourth quarter because you know Texas is always going to come back. But if Texas gets a big lead early, this thing's a boat race. Now, do I think that's going to happen? 
I would love, I, I would really love to go to that game and not have to worry about anything. Just get up there and get to cheer on the horns and watch just kick some butt. That being said, it is Halloween night. It's on the road. It's still water, one of the craziest places to play on the road. I think Texas offense is going to struggle a little bit to start the game. I want them to be at pinpoint accuracy, but I think the standard they set last week, I don't think they'll be able to meet it this week. Just because we're playing a better team in a little more hostile environment, a team with much more to play for than Missouri, because Missouri has made themselves irrelevant pretty quick this season. Oklahoma State, everything's on the table for them. It's not just, this game is not just let's beat Texas, uh, let's uh, up, pull an upset so we can rush the field. And they will do that if they beat us, though. Um, this is, just like Tech last year, this is, we win this game, we open doors for conference championships and a BCS berth. So Texas is not walking into just some team with just nothing to play for, nothing to lose. This is a team that has something to play for. Both teams, even stands uh, for that Big 12 right now. But at the end of the day, I think it's going to be our defense that gets more stops on your great offense because I don't think your defense is near as good as our defense. And I think that's going to be the difference in the game. We've got a great pass rush, and our secondary is – it's so it's so great to watch that. We had, last year, our secondary struggled. It was young. It was tough to watch them. This year, those guys, Earl Thomas and Blake Gideon, Aaron Williams, all these guys are coming to life, man. These guys – Earl Thomas, I think, is the, one of the best, if not the best defender in college football. And you got Sergio Kendall. And people, people in Austin have been saying, I don't understand it. You know, back early in the season, like, where's Sergio at? He's not making plays. He's playing smarter this year. It's not just, you know, Buffalo's your chin strap and get the quarterback because he can. The dude runs that defense. The dude turn, turns guys inside so other guys can make the tackle. Sergio is there. Sergio's presence is always felt. It's just not always those bone-crushing hits that he can put on people, a la Taylor Potts. Zach better watch out, though, because not just uh, Sergio can get the quarterback, but Eddie Jones... You know, Lamar Houston, uh, Roger McElroy, all those guys can just get through the line and bust him up. The O-line better bring it. I think Texas pulls away in the fourth. I don't think it's going to be one of those typical OSU jumps on us. I think this team, this Texas de- team is going to be a little bit more prepared than that and will keep it close throughout and then pull away in the fourth. I don't see Okie State jumping on us by 20 point points to start the game. As I said, I'm going to be at the game. It's going to be a great time. If you guys see me, watch my vids, you know, say hi, what's up. And uh, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to see it. So, uh, Stillwater, here we come. Hook em horns and Texas fight. Just one more step to that Rose Bowl. See you guys later.